Hey everybody, today is my second Topic Tuesday video that I'm going to be filming. Um, today's topic is going to be sentimental polishes. So I have a few polishes in my collection that are sentimental to me. Um, basically anything that my husband has given me or my kids have bought me is on the list. And then I have a few others that just remind me of certain things that are very just special special times or people so um, let's get into my list of sentimental polishes so the first two are going to be these two here and they are Sally Hansen insta dry the first one is Jade jump and the second one is retail therapy so my kids actually bought these for me for um, Mother's Day a couple of years ago. I have two boys. Um, my oldest is 19 and my youngest is 14. And just basically anytime my kids spend their own money on me or like think of things that I would like, that's very special to me. Teenagers is just a different time. It's kind of hard. Like your kids don't need you as much as they do when they're small. And so any time that they, you know, think of me or think of something I would like, like that's very special to me. So those are my first two. Um, another two, um, my older son bought me and there are these two here. They're from Blackheart Beauty. They don't, well actually they do have names. One is Blue Black Splatter, which is this one. It's uh, turquoise with black glitter and a clear base. And then this one is Desert Red. It's a kind of jelly um, maroon red. It's really pretty. Um, next polishes are going to be polishes I've gotten from my husband. Um, this first one is actually a really funny story. And you guys are going to laugh at this story. So my husband travels a lot with work, like I've said in a couple of my other videos. Um, he travels all over the United States and all over the world. And he actually went on a trip to England a few years ago. And I had seen this Kiko polish. It's number 531. I don't know the name. Um, I'll look it up and put it on the um, bottom of this page. But I had seen a swatch of this on Pinterest and I had to have it. It's like the most beautiful green. It's very shimmery. Uh, this is, color is just, oh my god, it's gorgeous. And so I had seen the swatch and I had looked up the Kiko website and wanted to get the polish. But it was sold out on the Kiko website. So when he went to England, I knew that they had Kiko stores there. And so I asked him to look for this polish. And I also asked him to look for this Max Fast Factor Fantasy Fire. Because I knew that this was also available um, in England. And so he was in England for probably two or three weeks. And he didn't have a rental car or anything with him he was with like a bunch of other people on his trip to england and he literally walked to like a whole town in england looking for these two polishes for me he like wanted to kill me i know but he did go he did find them he brought them back to me and i was like so excited to get them because these are two really beautiful colors and then he also picked me out um three colors on his own just to bring back of max factors and he picked out um, tense plum this is a really nice um, cream plum color, great formula. And then he also picked out Dazzling Blue. This is really interesting. Maybe if I get it closer, you can kind of see. Um, so it's like a blue with some pink shimmer in it. It's a really, really pretty polish. And then the last one he picked out for me is called Lollipop. And this is just a really nice pink cream. He knows I like pink, so he went for those ones. So these are some of my most sentimental polishes my um, husband has gotten for me just because I know that they were like hard for him to find. He walked all over a town in England that he had never been to, didn't know where anything was. I'm sure the people he was on travel with were like, what are you doing? And um, he still did it and brought them for me. So, And then another thing that my husband got for me is the Tonic Polish golden girls collection so he got these for me this valentine's day and these are really really pretty polishes so when i was a little kid i used to love to watch the golden girls blanche was my favorite golden girl and i still watch a lot of reruns of the golden girls i just think that was a really great show so um this one is sophia i haven't worn all these yet but this is a really nice like Gosh, these are multi-chrome, so to describe the colors kind of hard, but it's like blue with green and pink and hologram, um, 
hologram stuff in there. It's really nice. The next one I have worn, it's Blanche. Oh my gosh, this polish is gorgeous. It's so Blanche. It's very fabulous, like Blanche is fabulous. And it's like purple with turquoise and pink and a little bit of gold and then also has the hologram stuff in there. This one is Rose. And um, this one is like more warm toned. It's kind of like orange with pink. Also has hologram. I haven't tried this one yet, but the swatches of this online are like really beautiful. And then the last one is Dorothy. I always liked Dorothy on Golden Girls because she was like very serious and sarcastic. And she would like tell jokes, but they were kind of mean. But I did like her. And this one is like a dark purple with a blue color change and maybe a little bit of gold in it and then it has some shimmer but no hologram but all the swatches on these online are really pretty so I'm happy to have it and I was glad my husband got that for me for Valentine's Day and then I have another polish here that I kind of bought for the name it's a little sentimental name to me so this is called My Pal Joey and it's from the OPI Hello Kitty collection. So I have a lot of blues like this, but I did like the name on it. Um, my youngest son, we call him Joey. His name is Joel. And so um, I really like Hello Kitty too. So when it said uh, the name was my pal Joey, I was like, oh, that's cute. So I did get it kind of for the name because it reminds me of my youngest son. So my oldest son's name is Cyrus. I have never been able to find a polish with anything with the name Cyrus in it and probably never will. So maybe, maybe one of these days. This next one is called Lucky Lucky Lavender. And this is one of the polishes that kind of got me into polish, like obsessed with polish. So I've kind of always been into polish, but like in high school I would paint my nails and then like in high school, the acrylic nails were really in where they would airbrush the designs on like in the 90s and so I was big into that and I would get that done and then I did have like polishes that I I had I mean I didn't have a whole lot maybe like 10 but when I went my friends took me to a spa for my like I don't know 31st 32nd birthday and I ended up getting a manicure which I normally never do um, at a spa usually I get like a massage facial pedicure but for some reason I went with the manicure and um they used the lucky lucky lavender and I really just loved the way my nails looked with this on um she shaped them really pretty and it was just like super nice and so when I saw my nails like that I was like I could probably do this and so it was like one of the polishes that kind of pushed me into the obsession a little bit so that's kind of sentimental to me just because it was like one of the first polishes that I really really loved and enjoyed using and then I have another polish here and it's the Yves Saint Laurent um, Peace Green so this is sentimental to me because it's like really one of my only designer polishes I'm kind of cheap when it comes to polish like I don't spend uh, usually over like $15 to me won't happen so this one I ended up spending I want to say like $28 for it because when the swatches came out of this I was like I have to have this polish it's so so pretty it's like a minty green with like a pink shimmer uh, and I bought this uh, online and it is gorgeous it's worth the $28 I love the bottle, I love the polish. So this is just sentimental because it is, like I say, my pretty much only designer polish. And then I have a couple more here. So about seven years ago, my cousin passed away and we were very close when we were younger. Um, we spent a lot of time at my grandparents' house together because my grandpa was sick and um, my mom would have to take him to another town to get dialysis treatments. He was really bad diabetic and so probably from the time I was like about three till, well my grandpa died when I was five but from three to five we would be at my grandma's house because my mom would be with my grandpa and me and my cousin, Ennis went on past five after my grandpa died. I still stayed at my grandma's house when we were small and my mom worked and stuff and we me him and my younger sister were pretty much always together we grew up like brother and sister did everything together for a very long time and a lot of things we did at that time when we were small is 
we'd watch a lot of movies and so like at that time this is going to tell you how old I am but you would have to like rent the VCR people didn't have VCRs because they were just really expensive and so when you would go to rent the movie you would rent the VCR and it would come like in a suitcase and then you would hook it up to your TV and then you know watch your movies and we would rent um, Xanadu and we would rent Grease and we like loved Olivia Newton John and so this polish here is Deborah Lipman Xanadu and so it's a beautiful polish it's like a turquoise with some purple shift and like blue shimmer I love the color but I mostly bought it for the name um, Xanadu so this is one of my favorite movies that me and my cousin would watch together in Greece and then we would also watch a lot of MTV. Um, my grandma had cable at that time, which I didn't have at my house and my cousin didn't have it at his house. We would watch videos and one of his favorite people was Madonna, one of his favorite performers. And so this other polish is called Who's That Girl? It's by Morgan Taylor. And Who's That Girl is the name of a movie that Madonna came out, um, came out in in the early 80s. It was like maybe her first movie actually so we would watch that a lot too and so these two polishes and the names just kind of like take me back to that time when I was a little kid and like it was just really fun um like I say we grew up together me him my younger sister his younger sister the four of us and gosh I would like give anything to go back to my grandma's house like for one day and be there with them he died like seven years ago. Um, he was 33. I was 32. Him passing caused a lot of issues for me. I started getting anxiety attacks at that time. And I was having probably, gosh, five or six anxiety attacks a day for a while. It was like a really hard time for me. I lost a lot of weight. I wasn't eating. I had a hard time sleeping. I was having a hard time going to work. I couldn't drive myself places alone. Um, it was just a really hard time for me. I ended up going to therapy for it and that's actually what helped me. I still do have my moments but they're not anywhere like it was, thank God. Uh, between therapy and just like reading my Bible and things like that, I've gotten a lot, lot better. But that is also kind of what got me into polish also, like reading nail blogs looking at swatches, talking to people online about polish, things like that really helped me when I would have really bad anxiety, like also watching YouTube videos, things like that, kind of like distracted my mind from a lot of what was going on and would help me like calm myself down and relax me. So polish for me is also kind of like like a therapy, like thinking of what polish is to wear, painting my nails, looking at polish, watching videos, looking at swatches, things like that. I find that all very relaxing and kind of like me time and my therapist used to call it self-care. So um, that's another reason that I think I'm like so into polish and polish just in general is very sentimental to me. So um, thanks for watching my second topic Tuesday. And if you like the video, please press the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And that's it. I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks.